Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of August. This is being recorded in July. A lot of people will watch this in July, but this reading is for August. So we're just going to see what comes up. You know what, I, what before I, I was planning on doing your reading first, first today. So fresh, it's fresh. Um, and so I've been sitting here getting ready to do your reading. And what came to me was, you know, you may think that nobody loves you or nobody likes you or... This is what just came to my head, okay? You're thinking that nobody nobody cares, you know, nobody likes you, and you may be angry, maybe frustrated. Uh, maybe it's time for some new some new friends. Maybe there's it's time for a new tribe. Maybe it's time for a new family. And I know you don't get the you don't get to choose your family, but your family can be friends. Okay, maybe it's time for something new. You notice I'm starting you fresh. You're fresh, you're fresh. Okay, this is fresh, fresh start. I don't know if we're gonna get the fool card, but I keep seeing the fool card. So we have a fresh start here. It's starting fresh, starting leaving it all behind, leaving the baggage behind. Um and and you know, people that you hold on to uh, that don't really serve you or don't support you or, or are no longer um, on the same path as you or that you don't align with, you don't have the same values, that's baggage. That's baggage. Perhaps it's time for you to pack up your what you have, you know, take the memories and go. You know, it's. I feel like you... Um, it's time, it's time for you to start a whole new journey. It's time for you to start a whole new life without anything from the past. And that probably includes people in your life that have been holding you back, okay? The things you did with those people, you know? You, that's not who you are anymore. I feel like you've evolved into a different person. You can't, you know, it's kind of like an alcoholic. This is just an example. It's kind of like an alcoholic that um, needs to recover. Needs recovery. Need, and this is just an example. Needs um, to quit. Okay, this person needs to quit. But they can't quit because they are hanging out with the wrong people, okay? You, 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 to get over something or to move on or to heal yourself, you can't you can't hang out with those same people anymore. And that's just an example. It doesn't have to be alcoholism. There's there's some people in your life that are affecting your energy, put it that way. You know, they're they're uh dumbing it down. There's it's like a psychic vampire kind of energy. You know, so, and I don't think it's just one person. I think it's more than one. I think it's time for you to go your own way, okay, and to separate from this uh, group, whatever this group is. So let's get started. What do we have for Sagittarius for the month of August? Well, I saw the fool. Obviously, so the fool is starting fresh, starting fresh, you know, it's, it's stepping forward into unknown territory by yourself. It's by yourself with all, without all that baggage of the past intuition. So this is going within doing your own thing, listening to yourself and listening to yourself only. I feel as though you're very intuitive. You may be going through some sort of a spiritual awakening right now. Maybe you're developing your spiritual uh, gifts more and more and more. Um, this is becoming more spiritual and listening to your gut, following your gut. Now, the high priestess is a loner. You know, this is somebody who realizes their goals and uh, follows their dreams and listens to themselves and nobody else. And so this is a very strong message for you. You need to listen to your gut. You need to you need to listen to yourself. Don't let other influences impact you. Okay? And that's what I think has been happening. And and you maybe maybe you're a healer. Okay? Maybe you're a healer. Maybe you're a psychic or a medium or you're um gifted and your gifts have been ignored. There's bad energy around you. That's and I think that you know it. Anyhow, um 
Now, some of you, these just fell out, so I'm going to take them. Some, some of you may need a counselor, okay? Because the, and, and then if this isn't you, you know, your own gut is your counselor. But this is also, this could be another counselor. This could be a counselor, a psychic, a tarot reader, a healer, um, somebody that does actual counseling that can help you. They can help you to heal. Okay, so I, uh, you know, just take that into consideration. These fell out. Oh my God. So we had this for your uh, July. I think, uh, I don't know. We had this recently for you. Chain of events that will affect your life. Kite, vacation. Spear, heartache over what you no longer have. Ear, good news. Good news is coming. Harp, great happiness. So great, ha it's coming. And that was another message I heard when I was sitting here. It is coming. G happiness is coming. Okay, and that was something I forgot to tell you, was happiness is coming. Weeping willow, family sorrow. And it's interesting that I brought, I hope you guys got to see those fall out. I don't know if you did, I can't tell. I'd have to, I have to watch this to see if it, you could see it or not. But anyway, family sorrow, vine, seek out information that will help you, perhaps from a healer or a counselor, okay? You need to seek out help, okay? But I have to let you know that you also have it within you, okay? Seek out that inner counselor as well. Um, there is some sort of family sorrow. It's interesting that I mentioned family at the beginning of this. You may feel like your family doesn't support you, you know. And your family could be your friends because I brought that up. Friends and family. But happiness is coming. I know that it is. Um, you need a vacation. You need maybe a retreat. Uh, there's going to be a chain of, a chain of events that affect your life, which we talked about in a previous reading. I'm not sure which one I'd have to go, but I know that you guys had it. And there's heartache. There's ha you're suffering. You're in some sort of, and it maybe it's over your family. Maybe it's over the peace and the harmony or the happiness that you had with your family. So I feel like you're really in some sort of pain over a family situation or something like that. Um, so let's see, what do we have for Sagittarius? Um, what do we have for Sagittarius for the month of August? <laughs> well, I gotta take it. Seven of Pentacles, relocation. Time is up, it's time to go someplace else. Um, this is cut, we have a scythe here. Uh, a blade of some sort, which is cutting. There's going to be a cut and you do need to cut. It's time for you to cut and run cut and run I mean that's what I see um, this season is over this this part of your life it's time for you to go someplace else there's there's poor health here there's poor health whoever you're dealing with is affecting your health it's making you sad there's no growth it's it's impacting your spiritual growth it's impacting your growth period this is sadness poor logic unhealthy um, unrealistic uh, you may be feeling like you're suffocating okay uh, time is up it's it's really you're in a situation where there's no more vitality right and it's blood sucking okay it's sucking your energy <laughs> it is the lady the empress now you may have a mother or a woman that can help you this is somebody that is very loving very tender very kind this could also be your energy if you I feel like this is a female okay that is very very beautiful it's about it's time okay it's time for a delivery it is definitely time for a delivery it's time something is about to pop okay but there's pain that comes before the delivery so there's there's and I do see pain so I think that you are going through some pain but you're about to be blessed okay so you are about to be blessed there's sadness you're probably wondering when you're going to receive this blessing uh well right when it's time okay it, it but i feel like it is time i feel like it's time um this is unhappy sad no growth uh, there's about to be a delivery of some sort this is an absolute blessing this is a miracle this is if if this is not you this is a very beautiful person that can help you. 
Okay, it could be a counselor, it could be a nurse, it could be a mother. Seven of Wands, it's tough. You've you you you've been fighting a, a battle constantly. It feels like you, you are, you've been dealing with somebody who wants to fight all the time and you've had to be defensive, you've had to protect yourself constantly. You have. You got an enemy. You have an enemy here. Okay. This is fighting the enemy. It's like, why do you want to continue to fight with somebody? Okay. Well, who wants to fight constantly? It's like you're always having to fight with this person. Um, they're always, you know, sneaking up on you and, and causing you uh, to fight in some way. You know, they just want to fight. They just, they won't leave you alone. It's like, my God, I'm so sick of it. So, um,. Prince of Swords reversed. So this is the Knight of Swords reversed. So uh, the Knight of Swords reversed is negative, out of control. This is a, a know-it-all looking for a fight. What the hell? You got somebody here that wants to bring you down. They want to take you down. They're very selfish. This is somebody that is ignorant, somebody that is rude. Maybe they don't see your beauty. Okay, maybe they don't know how beautiful you are. You might be ready to pop. Okay, you might be at this point where you're you're gonna you may you may be like you know I can't take this anymore. I'm so sick of it. I'm so sick of the fighting. You you may be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. You could be dealing with a Leo. You could be dealing with a, a Taurus or a Libra. We have Libra here a couple times. Um, but it's been a constant battle and I think you're, you, you're getting to the point where it's, it's draining you. It is absolutely draining you. Whoever you are dealing with is a bully. They are a bully and um, there could be an explosion. This is explosive energy, the Knight of Swords reverse. You may explode on this person. This person may pick so many fights with you that it causes you to explode. It hurts you as well. So I feel like this month you are going to be on the defensive. You may be about ready to pop. Okay, you're probably about you probably you're in a, you're in an unhappy situation um, where you've been thinking about relocating or doing something else. You've been re thinking about cutting this person out. You've you've invested a lot of time and energy into it, and now you're to the point where you're ready. You're you're like, oh my god, I can't. I'm just so ready. I'm ready for my new life. I really am ready, and I think that your gut has been telling you that perhaps it's time to stop fighting with this person. But you've you've allowed this person to bully you. You have. You have. Um, Nine of Cups. Nine of, kind of, Nine of Cups is... We definitely have an arrogant individual here because we have arrogance a couple times. But anyway, the Nine of Cups is about wish fulfillment. It's after you leave because the Eight of Cups become is before the Nine of Cups. This is like after you leave the disappointing situation, you will have happiness because this is happiness. You'll have it all. But you're going to need to... Uh, defend yourself and stop fighting with this person now this is the sun reversed is poor logic this is a broken marriage or a broken relationship or somebody's not being honest with themselves they're disillusioned okay because perhaps they just don't want to be alone this person is it has left already because the eight of cups has left once they leave they find happiness and it's like oh i'm finally at peace Okay, it's having it all. It's enjoying life. So I feel like it's a, you've been in a situation where nines are about a sign is a sign to move on when you get nines. Okay, it's 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 like closure is needed, and I think that you need to find your strength to go your own way and deal with the pain that comes along with doing it. But when you once you do it, you will be very very happy and content and comfortable. All right. Now this is hoping and wishing for happiness. Well, that's what you've been hoping for, right? You've been hoping for happiness and wishing for happiness and really trying hard to make somebody um I don't know, love you or something like that, but you can't you can't change another person. Okay? You have to you have to love yourself anyhow. Um I think that if you were to walk away, you would be headed towards a lot more happiness. 
okay? Because this is happiness. But it's after the Eight of Cups. So the Eight of Cups is saying goodbye to an emotionally unfulfilling situation. I think that, you know, you've been in a disappointing situation for a long time and you're going to need to stop being so afraid. I feel like you've been really, really afraid to go your own way. Five of Swords reversed. Now, this is totally about leaving it behind. Okay? You really... I don't know. I wish this would focus. You really... Whoever you're dealing with is a fighter. And it is time for you to go. It really is. They like to bring you down. They belittle you. They like to be in control of you. Now, it, now how big is your ego? Yes. Whoever you're dealing with has a big ego. But we have ego here in a few different places. How big is yours? And don't get all butt hurt because I'm asking you that question. We all have one. Okay? Somebody. And, and I think it, it, your ego is in the way as well. Do you have something to prove to this person? Do you want to continue to fight to prove that you're right? Or do you want to be happy? That is the question here. If you want to be happy, you have to say goodbye. Unless you want to continue to fight for the rest of your life. This is long overdue. This departure, and it is, because the Eight of this, this, it, it is. The Eight of Cups comes before the Nine of Cups. It's, it's overdue. And it's because you don't want to be alone. The, the, the Empress knows her value, knows her worth. Doesn't need anybody. Has all the skills and the tools and the uh, support. People will come to support you. But you have to love yourself. And, and perhaps you have been trying to take care of somebody that really doesn't want to be taken care of. Whoever you're dealing with is very, very selfish. They want to win at all costs and they will continue to fight with you until you walk away. Okay? And once you walk away, you head into peace. You head into happiness. It's the happiness that you've been wishing for. But this Five of Swords reverse is extreme ego. And yes, the other person has it, but you do too. This is let go of ego. Do you want to be right or do you want to be happy? This is going to be a battle until somebody walks away. Until somebody surrenders and gives up. You know, there's a, there's a saying about, uh, I don't know what the saying exactly is, but uh, it's about uh, walking away. The person that walks away is actually the winner. This is a contract or a partnership that isn't compatible. It's not compatible. There's going to be a separation. There's been a lot of disharmony. There's been conflict. There's one-sidedness. We definitely have a relationship issues here. You're, you, you have a relationship with somebody that is a constant fight. It's like fight, 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 fight. It has caused so much disharmony within you. You're going to be fighting with somebody this month. This is a fight and this, you are. And this is too. So this, there's fights going on here. Fight, fight, fight. That's the kind of life that you want? You want to fight constantly? Ah, nine of wands reversed. Now that that is uh, hard feelings. Angry about life. Uh, this is refusing to compromise. We have somebody here that refuses to compromise. I will not compromise. I know it all. I will win. I don't care. I'm right. You're wrong. This is somebody who wants their own way. That is very, very disagreeable. That doesn't want to take ownership. It's not me. No. Hopefully you're not saying that. Because it takes two to tango. Absolutely. It definitely takes two to tango. 
So this has been a constant battle and all, and it's going to continue to be a battle until somebody uh, loves themselves enough to say, done. This is stop, complete stop to somebody says, done. We're not doing this anymore. I'm not fighting with you. I feel like there's going to be a separation because somebody is going to do that. I think there's going to be a, there's just, you know, this is, this is such a battle of the egos. It really is. And it is a battle of the egos. This is burnt out, getting burnt out. It's extreme pride, extreme pride. And this extreme pride is causing stress and it's causing a lot of stress. It's impacting your health. It's, it may even be impacting your, no, you know, uh, your mental health or your, it may be causing inflammation. You know, stress kills. Stress is the number one killer in the world because it leads to all the other ailments. So I feel like this month, uh, you're gonna, you should be seeking out some information from a counselor. You should be making plans to leave. I feel like this is definitely has to do with your family or a relationship, a partnership that you have been in. Happiness is coming. I know that it is. Extreme happiness is coming. There's going to be a rebirth. This is the birth of a new life. But it is the birth of a new life after you experience pain. You can't get that birth without experiencing pain. And if anybody thinks you can, well, they got some damn good drugs. But there's going to be some sort of pain. Before you get the drugs. But anyhow, um, I see a relocation here. I, or or get, it's done. It's over. Um, starting fresh. One more card for Sagittarius. In a sad situation with somebody who likes to blame everything. And, and and I think it's it's between the both of you. Nobody wants to accept responsibility for their actions. Oh, it's your fault. It's your fault. No, no. And that's the biggest problem here. Just walk away. If you want happiness and you have an opportunity for happiness, give up the fight. Stop. Just don't do it. Just Just walk away. Yeah, it's going to hurt. I, it is going to hurt. But you walk into peace and happiness and harmony and serenity. Queen of Wands. Now that is about strength. About finding your strength and your courage and your backbone and your confidence. To say, you know, I can do this. I am strong enough. Determined and proud. Find your determination to turn your back on this unhappy, incompatible situation where there's no peace and harmony. There is. I think that you are going to uh, protect yourself. I think that you are going to assert yourself. And I think that you are going to be making a very wise decision to stop fighting with this person. I do. This is about finding your determination and willpower to get healthy. And I think that's what you're going to be doing this month. I think this month you are going to be cutting out the very first card. People that don't support you. They fight with you constantly. And you are about to start a new life. This is, this is absolutely a blessing, okay? It's a blessing after the pain. After you deal with the pain, you receive a blessing. I think that blessing is complete. I mean, you think about, when, think about this. This is like a metaphor. When you hold that baby in your hands, it's like you're, you're, you're in love, okay? This is, this, is, this is where you're at complete peace. It, it was all worth it. The, the pain was worth it. 
you have not been treated fairly. Probably, you know, I feel I, I see Libra here. I see Libra, um, Gemini, Leo, could be another Aries, Sagittarius. Um, you could have Taurus, Libra's here like three times, Gemini, Aquarius, um, Pisces. Anyhow, this is there's been an injustice. There has. You haven't been treated fairly. And it's been very, your life has been unbalanced. And it's like it's time for you to bring balance back to your life. It's time for you to stop be, placing blame. You know, and don't let, the, and this person blames you. You guys are blaming each other. There's an argument with no resolution in sight. That is the meaning of the justice reversed. This is lacking accountability. Both of you. There's two sides to the scales. Both people are lacking accountability. The best thing to do is to walk away. Anyhow, I feel like this is a month where you take back your power. So be prepared. I think that you are going to be taking back power. I do. I think you're going to take your power right away from this person that has been fighting with you constantly. And I don't think it's just one person. I think it's several people. I do. Good luck.